Hi and welcome back to the Girl Gun London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm a dual UK and American citizen and today we are doing a rapid fire 101 things I love about the UK. Now at 101 things, some of these are going to get real specific and a little bit off the wall, but stick with me and we will uh, get through 101 of them. Also, side note, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube email list in the description and the comments below. There is an unlisted secret video just for subscribers and I will uh, be in touch occasionally with my random thoughts and musings that you definitely want to hear. Um, so that is my official channel of communication with you outside of YouTube. So if you're interested, there's that. It's free and I will not spam you with like cat videos unless it's a really cute cat video and has something to do with life in the UK. Okay, let's get started. One, the Lake District. Love it. Beautiful. Just enjoy how it looks. Enjoy going. Two, Cornwall. Some parts of Cornwall look like the Caribbean. Maybe not like the hilly parts, but the beaches can be really, really nice in the summer. I love Cornwall um, and I saw a seal in the wild there one time. Number three, beans on toast. Who doesn't love it? Toast, butter, beans, perfect dinner, perfect breakfast, perfect snack, perfect anytime. Number four, crumpets. Again, who doesn't love the like butter melted into all of the holes in the dough? Is it a dough? I don't know. Um, but crumpets, toasted crumpets with butter. Amazing. Love that. Number five, British summer. There is nothing better than when the sun is shining in like August and it's British summer and everyone's so happy and you finally get the payoff for the weather the rest of the year. Number six, smiles. Not necessarily on the people, but the potato kind. Number seven, speaking of potatoes, uh, potato waffles. Revolutionary. I don't eat them as much as I feel like I should, um, but I do love a potato waffle and we don't have them in the US. Number eight, the sheer amount of countryside surrounding us at all times. Beautiful. Number nine, the fact I don't have to pay a million dollars or pounds for healthcare and don't have to think before going to the doctor to like check my bank account. Love that. Number 10, roundabouts. Didn't used to be a fan, but now I'm converted. So much better than four-way traffic stops. Number 11, the co-op and how many neighborhood supermarkets there are. So you often don't have to go to like the big overwhelming one. You can often just go to like the smaller co-op. Number 12, I told you we were getting specific. The soft cookies you get in the bakery of grocery stores like Asda or Sainsbury's or Tesco or whatever, their own brand bakery soft cookies. Number 13, Dunelm. Who doesn't love Dunelm? Number 14, springtime in the UK before hay fever season hits. Number 15, crunchy autumn leaves. Growing up in Florida, we don't have autumn or we do, but it doesn't look like autumn. It just looks like the rest of the year. Um, so crunching through autumn leaves in the UK, love that. Number 16, roast potatoes. Number 17, roast parsnips. Number 18, Yorkshire puddings. I sometimes people think you can only serve a Yorkshire pudding with like a certain type of meat. And often I'll get like, I don't know, like the veggie roast or like the nut roast or something. And they won't give me the Yorkshire pudding because that was for like the beef. No, this isn't supposed to be a rant, but I love Yorkshire pudding so much that I want them with every meal and with every roast. So 18, love a Yorkshire pudding. 19, electric kettles. Is there a better way to boil your water? No, there is not. Number 20, the show Gogglebox. I have to admit, I haven't watched it in recent years, but when I first moved here, there is something very fascinating about watching people watch TV, and I love it. Number 21, afternoon tea with a friend. There's nothing better. Number 22, um, using a weighing scale in the kitchen when I am baking things. I feel like it's much more accurate and um, specifically baking, which needs very specific amounts. The fact that we have a weighing scale here and use it in the kitchen, love that. Number 23, millionaire shortbread. Love everything about it. Number 24, Dover Castle. Oh my gosh, the 
World War II underground Dover Castle tour. I would do that thing over and over again. I love some World War II history. I love Dover Castle. I love the views. I love the seaside and I love the tunnel tours. Number 25, the Churchill War Rooms. One of the best attractions in London. There honestly are very few attractions where you can actually just stare at where all of this really important world-changing stuff happened and you can at the Churchill War Rooms. 26, London in general. I'm gog on London, so I had to mention this. 27, Oxford. Really pretty to look at, very walkable. Um, and I specifically love the milkshakes at the covered market. I told you this was getting specific. 28, Cambridge. I've only been one time, but I really loved Cambridge. Um, very pretty, very picturesque. Again, similar to Oxford. Loved walking around. It's a benefit. Number 29, let's see if I can say this right. Edinburgh. Good, right? Um, great city. Love Arthur's Seat. Love the view from Arthur's Seat. Love the castle. Love the people. Number 30, Loch Lomond in Scotland. Very specific. One of my favorite locks in all of Scotland. I just had an experience one time where I was walking around it and the sun was shining and I was like, this is heaven. Loch Lomond specifically. 31, the coast of Wales gorgeous, beautiful, so much to see, so much to look at. I went on a tour once of the coast of North Wales and um, I would definitely like to go back. Number 32, the thing you can do in the Lake District and other places in the UK where you like slide down a riverbed, I think it's called, is it called gilly scrambling? Is it called scrambling? Gill scrambling? Some type of scrambling. You like jump in a river and you just like walk your way, slide your way down it. Love that. All right. Number 33, fish and chips. I like the chips more than the fish, but number 34, malt vinegar. Didn't know I would like malt vinegar until I moved here and tried it. I actually really like it. 35, uh, classic red post boxes. Iconic. They add something to the landscape. 36, how easy it is to file taxes here. Love that. Very simple. Even if you're doing it on your own. 37, the Chilterns, great part of the UK, very hilly, uh, very majestic, like rolling hills. 38, complete opposite, a town called Milton Keynes. Honestly, um, this is one of my favorite like Americanized places in the UK. Uh, there's a ton of parking. There's a ton of fun things to do. Um, and people argue that there's no history. And I'm like, it doesn't need history though because they have like an indoor snow dome for skiing, an indoor like, um, what do they call it? Skydiving, a really big movie theater, lots of restaurants, again, lots of parking. There's a big Ikea. Um, I just love it. Number 39, how close we are in London to Disneyland Paris. Number 40, how easy it is to get cheap flights to the rest of Europe from the UK. 41, well-organized security lines typically at Gatwick and Heathrow airports. I don't mind flying out of either one of these because it's it's usually pretty well organized. Number 42, the London Underground. Yes, there are strikes, but it's usually on time. There's usually another one coming and not that long. I feel safe on it. It's easy to navigate. 10 out of 10, London Underground. 43, London double-decker buses. They're iconic. Who doesn't want to sit at the top front of a London double-decker bus no matter how long you've lived there? 44, the fact that I don't have to worry about being shot in this country. 45, badgers. They're uh, really, really cute. 46, cheddars, the snack food. 47, hula hoops, the snack food. 48, uh, the veggie fingers specifically from Asda really enjoy them. Can eat them after they're cooked. I can eat them hot or cold. If you um, are vegetarian or mostly vegetarian, try them. Number 49, these watermelon popsicle things. There's not enough watermelon flavored stuff in the UK, but this is definitely my favorite. Um, number 50, fancy farm shops that you can't afford in rich parts of town. There's nothing like wandering through seeing all of the like organic overpriced stuff and you just feel you just well I typically feel better about myself I feel like I'm surrounding myself um, with just like luxury so I love a fancy farm shop 
Number 51. Again, I always, like, these are always opposites right after each other. Pizza Express. Who doesn't love a Pizza Express? Pizza Express dough balls, one of the best things the UK has ever done. 52. Nando's. Yes, I like Nando's. That's cliche, maybe, but I do like Nando's. 53. Bella Italia. Can you tell I love a chain restaurant? If not, 54. ZZ's. And 55. Prezzo. I love an Italian themed chain restaurant usually. Um, whether I'm getting pizza or pasta or breadsticks or salad or whatever, I just love it. You know what you're gonna get. Typically pretty good quality, way better than Olive Garden if you've seen my other video. And I love it. 56, Covent Garden. There's just a lot to do. It's a really nice atmosphere. 57, Profiteroles. Um, we don't really eat this as a dessert in America as much. I think we call them something different. People do eat them, but I didn't really see them on menus till moving to the UK. I love a profiterole. 58, TK Maxx. Who does not love a TK Maxx? I get most of my clothes and candles from there. 59, the range. I love the range. It's the closest I could find to Target. I love walking around it. I just love like a big box store and the range just has a wide range of stuff for me. So I enjoy it. 60. Breakfast at Harvester. Again, you know what you're going to get. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy Harvester hash brown. Uh, 61. Hugh Laurie. Fun fact, most Americans thought he was American until we heard him do interviews um, because he was very, very good on the show House with his American accent. We were all fooled. 62. Gordon Ramsay. Who doesn't love Gordon Ramsay? 63, David Attenborough. Again, iconic. I basically only watch nature shows because of him. 64, Coldplay. I would love to go to a Coldplay concert. Haven't yet. I know. Is this cliche about the UK? I do. I love Coldplay. They're relaxing. I enjoy the music. 65, Mumford and Sons. I feel like they've passed their prime now, but they're a UK band that I really enjoy. 66. All of the weird nonfiction shows you can find on Channel 4. 67. The Isle of Skye. One of the most beautiful places in the whole world. In addition to 68, Glencoe. Honestly, just postcard picture perfect everywhere you go. I would love to spend more time in the Scottish Highlands, um, in the Isle of Skye and Glencoe and around that general area. Love it. 69. Belfast. I loved Belfast and I loved the Titanic exhibit in Belfast. It had a ride in it, but it was like educational. So it wasn't like, it wasn't like a cheap attraction. It was like really a ton of interesting history about Belfast and the Titanic, but there was also a ride through like the shipbuilding process. Love it. Um, and also just Belfast in general, outside of the Titanic um, experience or exhibition, I enjoy it. It does have um, a really interesting history. Um, and I thought that when I went, people were friendly and wanted to share um, their city. And I just thought Belfast was really nice. Uh, 70, Bournemouth Beach. That can make me sometimes feel like I'm walking on a beach in like California when they've got the surfing lessons in the summer and the beach volleyball nets. Love it. 71. Conway, Wales. Is it pronounced Conway or Conway? Um, I remember walking the castle walls here and getting fish and chips and an ice cream and the sun was shining and I will always love it for that reason. 72, Aberystwyth, Wales. Um, also spend some time here. It's like a cute seaside, coastal Welsh experience. Um, it's just made my list because it made a good impact on me. 73, Cadbury Flakes. Love a flake. 74 Custard Creams. 75 Bourbon Biscuits. Love the fact that they're also the cheapest in the store, but they taste really good. 76 Maltesers. 77 Walker Shortbread. 78 Flapjacks. No particular brand, but like homemade flapjacks. 79 Meal Deals. Used to love these when I was at work and needed something to eat fast. Number 80, generally Marks and Spencer's food. We used to get Marks and Spencer's to do catering for events at work. I loved all of their options and like picking out what we wanted. 
I just like Marks and Spencers um, when I need to feel, again, feel good about myself. 81, calling the Caterpillar Cakes. 82, queuing at Wimbledon. I love Wimbledon. And this isn't because I am, like, I follow tennis. I don't. I know some tennis players and I do enjoy playing tennis occasionally. Um, but I don't go to Wimbledon for the tennis. I go to Wimbledon for like the experience of Wimbledon. 83, Ed Sheeran. He's got some good songs. 84, Adele. Who doesn't love Adele? 85, Matilda on the West End. If you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend. Yes, they did come out with the movie Matilda the Musical, but I have loved Matilda the actual musical for, uh, years and years and years. I think I saw it first when I literally first studied abroad here, which would have been 10 years ago or maybe shortly thereafter. Obsessed. If you haven't seen it, book yourself a trip to London and go see it. 87, the Science Museum in London. Again, I don't get most of the stuff that's happening there because I'm not a super science or math oriented person, but it looks very cool on the inside. Number 88, the British Museum. Hello, you can walk in and see the Rosetta Stone. Really cool. 89, Freddo's, another chocolate that I enjoy. Number 90, the Harry Potter studio tour in Watford. Yes, I grew up watching the Harry Potter movies. Yes, seeing where they were filmed was magical. Number 91, the excitement of when it snows in the southeast of England and no one has a single clue what to do when everything shuts down. I love it. I love it. I'm not even making fun of it. I just, it's like such a, such an event when it snows. I love it. 92, uh, Brighton, specifically the Brighton Pavilion. Really cool, really cool history. If you haven't been, go. Number 93, the New Forest. Wild roaming ponies. Amazing. Number 94, a pub lunch, but specifically if they have mac and cheese on the menu and specifically if the mac and cheese is good at that pub very comforting. I feel like I don't go for the traditional British classics at a pub necessarily, um, but I do enjoy a pub lunch. Again, mac and cheese, or I'll go like fish and chips, um, or like a veggie burger or hamburger or something like that. 95, speaking of food, Borough Market. 96, the fact that the West End is more accessible financially than Broadway. Tickets can be found for much cheaper on the West End than on Broadway. So if you're visiting from America, um, consider trying to see something on the West End. It doesn't break the bank as much as it does in New York. 97, Virgin Gyms. I was only rich enough to join a Virgin Gym once in my life, but it is like Disney World for people like me who want to pretend like they're working out. I honestly could have spent hours in there just like admiring all of the fancy stuff around me, the equipment I had no idea how to use, the pool that I stayed in for like 30 seconds, um, the locker rooms, so fancy. Love a virgin gym. Number 98, Itsu. I like their noodles. Number 99, Cafe Nero, specifically the paninis. I usually go for tomato and mozzarella if you're wondering. 100 lamb season in the UK. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And I love that you can just like go to farms or national trust properties usually around the country and see all of the lambs. 101, finishing this video. All of the British people who watch this channel and subscribe. I know I had to finish with that. So that's 101 things I love about the UK. Were they the things that you thought I'd love about the UK? Maybe not. Did you expect certain things to be on this list? Probably not. Did you expect to see other things on this list that weren't? Probably. Um, but this is an American's view of the things I love about the UK. Comment below. Let me know what you love about the UK and we'll just keep the list going on. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time.